Hey, this is Brett, and this 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT8 Inaugural Edition is stock number 12969Z. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Dodge and Dodge Challenger and sports car headquarters. This 2011 Dodge Challenger has the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine. It was the first year that you could get it in the uh, Challenger. Puts out 470 horsepower. This car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. And this car is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. Inside, start it up, take a look under the hood and in the trunk. Deep water blue metallic is the color and I shoot all my videos in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or television, I highly recommend turning them on right now because it is your best way to check out the quality, condition, options, and cleanliness of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And if you like the video and how I do things here at Summit Automotive, consider clicking the subscribe button to my YouTube channel in the lower right hand part of the screen. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos we do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. This one comes with the 20 inch painted and polished aluminum rims. They're in pretty nice shape. And it has Goodyear Eagle F1 245-45ZR20 tires. I would say these tires have right around half the tread left on them. Front fender is in nice condition. Didn't see any major dents or dings on there. Does come with the HID headlamps. Headlight lenses are nice and clear. And the front bumper and lower valence are in very nice condition as well. I didn't see any scuffs or scrapes or cracks on that front bumper. And the lower valence is in pretty nice condition too. Front stickers all look pretty good. The hood is in very nice shape as well. Didn't see any major dents or dings on there. And the passenger side front fender is in excellent condition too. Passenger side rim, that's in really nice shape. Maybe one little, one little scuff there. But other than that, pretty nice. As you go down this side of the car, take note of how clean the body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away, or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the car, you can see the car, hear the car, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises, and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. And if this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Back rim is in pretty nice shape as well. Once again, just a little bit of a nick there, but nothing too bad. Notice you get the Brembo rotors, or brake pads, and the slotted rotors. Back tires have just about as much tread as the front tires, maybe just a little bit less. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, the rear bumper is in really nice shape. I didn't see any dents or cracks back here. You get the uh, Mopar quad tipped dual rear exhaust. The trunk lid is in very nice condition as well. And back here, you get the kicker subwoofer. That's a factory option. And you get the tire inflator kit and that's where your battery is located. But very nice and clean back here. See the shocks are doing a nice job holding that trunk lid up. Coming down the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. No major dents or dings on the rear quarter. Looks really good. And for full disclosure, this back rim, about the same condition as the rest. Maybe just one little tiny scuff up there. Down the rest of the side of the car, the doors look really good. I didn't see any dents or dings on there. You do get the heated power mirrors. Inside the inaugural edition gives you the black, white, and blue leather interior. 
392 that's stitched into the backrest and you get the blue piping. Seats are in really nice shape. Power driver seat, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Get the nice white leather insert. And the back seats are trimmed out just like the front ones. No rips or tears back there and it does have the latch child safety system as well for any child car seats you may want to put back there. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this car has to offer on the interior. So you can see that this one has 15,068 miles. You do get a compass and outside temperature display. You get the nice SRT white-faced instrument cluster, which is pretty sweet. You get the leather-wrapped steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one comes with the 430 radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. I really like this radio because you can store music on it, and it has 28 gigabits worth of storage space, so that is a lot of songs. It also has a CD player, and it'll play DVDs if you're stopped, I believe. Down here, your climate controls, your heated seat buttons, you get the Mopar shifter. This one does have the keyless entry with the remote start on there. So this is your inaugural badge. This is telling you which it's number 555 out of 1,100 cars that were made in 2011. So it is a numbered car, and that is your number 555. Only 1,100 of these on the road, and who knows how many are left today. Headliner's in great shape. It does have the power sunroof, map lights, and home link buttons, and sunroof controls up there. Auto dimming mirror. We'll start it up and take a look under the hood. Starts right up. No check engine lights or anything like that. pop it first otherwise it won't open I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you have been able to verify the quality and condition of this car all the way around inside note there are those HID headlamps they all very bright work nicely and under the hood we have the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine 470 horsepower engine bay is very clean runs very smooth once again, this car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change, all the fluids have been checked and topped off. There is your emissions sticker. And this car is 100% ready to go. See a shocks are doing a nice job holding that hood up and uh, very, very clean under here. I would highly recommend this car, this 2011 Dodge Challenger inaugural edition in deep water blue from a quality and condition standpoint and to see more pictures of this car or one of our other 450 new and used cars trucks suvs minivans wranglers sports cars challengers chargers mustangs camaros corvettes you name it we got to go to that website right there www.summitauto.com full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations all at summitauto.com and if you'd like to check out more hd videos you can go to youtube.com summitauto Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos we do each and every day here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Challenger videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and I'm super excited to help you with this Ultra Clean 2011 Dodge Challenger inaugural edition in deep water blue metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.